Welcome to the account solutions. In this video tutorials, I'll be showing you how to use Excel online to record and track your sales and your inventory. I call this um, simple app all in one database. This will help enable you as a business owner to enter your purchases when you make those purchases from your suppliers and also to enter your sales when you make sales to your customers. At the end of this exercise, you will to find out how to maintain this database, how to view your inventory report showing you the quantities that are remaining and those that need to be reordered. Also show you your purchases report, showing you the number of items purchased from date to date and the invoice numbers and how much was purchased and the, how much was paid to the vendor and what was not paid. Also show you the sales report detailing the dates, the invoice numbers and the items you are purchased with their quantities and their sales price. Now the system uh, will be useful to you if you are always online and you can um, afford the um, cost of data. Now you can also share this template with some of your staff wherever they are but be sure you give it to somebody you can trust because once you share this Excel online to anybody whoever has a link can be able to edit um, this database. So let's go ahead and see how we can um, put this together. The first is to enter your product categories depending on what you want to sell. It's always good to enter the categories so i'll just go ahead and put my categories i want to deal on phones laptops computers and accessories just put phones number two I just put computers and number three i'll just put accessories you can add more categories as you proceed in your business the next thing you need to add is your product group Product group will enable you to generate better reports um, and be able to analyze your report in, in a more efficient and effective way to know the groups that are performing better than the other groups. You just go ahead and type in your product group. I'll call this one smart phones. Number two, other phones. So we have mini laptops, laptops, desktop, battery chargers, earpiece, phone casing. You can add more. Let's just add car charger. All right. Next, you need to do is to put in the product brands. That's the manufacturers that make this product you are about to sell. So we just have uh, some of them. I just put Rico, uh, put Nokia. I just go ahead and put the rest of them. So I have Dell, HP, Samsung, Lenovo, Journey, others, Pontel, and Itel. You can add more product brands. Once you're done with that, scroll to your right and begin to add your product names that you want to sell. I'm going to add them. I'll just put the first one. I'll put Lenny 2. Select the brand. The brand is Wiko. Select the category. The category phone. The product group. Smartphones. You need to set up your other level and your selling price. Let's say our other level is 20 and our selling price is 30,000 in Nigerian Naira. So you can um, put in the size depending on the commodity you are selling. For those that are selling foodstuffs or chemical items or things that have measurements in kg, in grams, in sizes, in packets, in quantities, in pieces, in boxes, just put in the sizes on this particular column. Okay, we'll be able to populate our product list 
can even add one more, number 12, universal car charger. This is the product I tell. Category accessories, products go. We have car charger. Okay, weather level is 300 and selling price is under 500. Once you are done with this, then you go to step 7. Step 5 is where you put in the brand category and group, just an explanation. Step 6 is for the selling price and the other level. The other level is the level of which you want to have a minimum amount of stock before you can reorder your stock item. Now, once you are done, you enter the vendors. Of course, the first vendors will be your cash suppliers, those that supply you one of items for them cash suppliers. You don't want to have their names and database. And if you have those that supply your regular basis, you can put in their name. We have the Manhattan Stevens International, Jordan Phones Limited. Once you are done, you can begin to enter your inventory item that you have purchased from your suppliers. It's very simple. Just follow the instructions, enter the dates and invoice number from the invoice given to you by the supplier. Let the supplier's name. The name is not there. Come back to your supplier's table and put in the name. Then you enter the quantity you purchase, cost of the purchase, and the amount you paid the supplier. Now, if the product is not there, go back to your product table and enter the product you're about to receive from your supplier. Click outside the, outside the cell and you start recording. So, the first purchases was on the 1st of April 2018. Invoice number given to us. Supplier is the main hat. Product supplied was like at 310. Quantity supplied 25 pieces at 25,800 each. Now, the column with the red should not be addicted. Automatic um, calculation. Amount paid is 600. Thousand naira and the payment mode was to let's say PS. We entered data for that particular um, supplier. So, with this, you've entered the product items you have purchased from the vendor. Before we continue, let's go to our inventory report. Right click on the table and refresh. Okay, so we have our inventory now get that 310 still in stock 25 pieces is the average cost and stock value samsung galaxy j7 prime 10 pieces at weather level now it's now 800 other user earpiece is below the other level 140 pieces this is 80 average cost and 5 200 stock value you can check your stock by category just filter the category here I make a filter and to see only phones. Only phones. I have only phones. Okay. System filters only your product phones. Have a 310, 7 Prime, Hotel, 9200. Okay. You can uh, clear the filter. I come back here and select all. Okay. This then clears the filter for you. You can select based on group and search also search based on your brand. Okay, that's it. Now let's go and uh, make some sales now. Before you sell, you need to enter your customers on the customer table. Now, for those that are cash customers that buy one off, just call them cash customers. Now, for those that um, our regular customers you need to have their name on your database so that you can um, issue them invoices to name those customers also. After entering your customers, then you can proceed to make sales.
if you're entering the sales you don't have to type in an invoice number because the system generates an automatic invoice number you also will make sales on the 3rd of april 18 um, to cash customers the product nokia 310 quantity sold to and the amount received from the customer is 34 mode of payment is cash okay so just do the same thing on a daily basis just keep updating this table as you purchase items you update this table as you make sales you update this table if you have new customers update this table if you have new suppliers update this table if you have new stock item update this table if you have new brand update this table if you have new group update this table the category of the table it's called all in one database you can use this to maintain to manage your business transactions let's go ahead and fill in some other sales so with these sales let's just go and look at our inventory report again go to inventory report right click and refresh so we have our stock Nokia the 310 has reduced Samsung Galaxy is reduced other user year piece as it is also go to your purchases report right click on it and refresh all right go to sales report right click on it and refresh now you can filter this report based on this criteria based on years just type in the year select year and filter Based on the month, select any month you want to select and filter. You can filter based on the mode of payment and to see all the payments I made to my vendors through cash. Just type in cash here. Filter. Okay. Now we'll see all the cash payments I made to the vendor. I can also come back and check all of them again. You can see the purchases made on different dates, the product quantity received, cost of sales, total value, payments made, and balance due. You can filter based on year, month year, mode of payment, supplier, category, proof. You can filter based on two or three or more of all criteria. You can filter based on any of the criteria here. Then let's look at our sales report. Right click and refresh. We have this invoice number, product name, quantity sold, selling price, then the amount uh, paid by the customer, the balance due. Look at the report by year, month, order of payment, customer has to We have a dashboard. So we have um, just a simple chart just to give a, a view of what's going on with your products. Alright, so that's basically um, how you use this Excel online. And before I wind up, just to show you one more thing, um, you can also edit this particular template in Excel. Just to click on it and you download to your desktop. You can work on your desktop if you don't want to work. Like. And finally, what I need to show you again is um, how important this sales table is. And let's make another sale. Calium, we are selling to um, Peter Gori and we are selling HB15 Intel Core. We're selling 4P6. Now, once you see this yellow I had a cell with red text just know that you don't have this number of quantity in your stock list that is the essence of this validation here so we don't have it we can sell it we want to sell Dell VOS
don't have it on the list, so you cannot sell it. So you want to sell this Dell US and you already purchased from a vendor, but if you forgot to record it, you need to come back to your purchases table, type in the dates you purchased that item, let's say on the 16th of March 2018, in the invoice number from the invoice given to you, we have sleeping national supply, then we are receiving Dell US, we are receiving eight of them, one thirty five eight hundred. Month paid was nine fifty point three, and we paid through direct transfer. So once you've done that, go back to your sales table. You can see that Dell US have some items and sell to Peter Brewery. Um, that's when Peter paid you for eighty. Paid you two. All right, that's how you can track your entries in this all in one database. Go back to your inventory report, right click, and refresh on the table. You can see that we now have Dell VOS 3568.4 and it's below the other level. I hope you will be able to gain one or two things from this tutorial on Excel online. If you need this template, just go to our free template page and then make a request on the website and your screen. If you need um, further customization of this online template, we will to add more um, sheets for you with more automated reports. You can also go to our customized page on the website and make that request. Thank you very much and do have a pleasant day. I believe this video tutorial has been useful to you. To get hold of the template, you can go to our website on www.theaccountsolutions.com and then look for the free templates page. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel, to our website, and be the first to get our videos and our articles on our templates. Thank you. Cheers.